Hey guys, it's Mino, welcome back. Uh, we are continuing our Aphrodite's consort series today. Uh, we are doing actually her husband, Hephaestus, who is the god of forges and fire and masonry and stonework. So this one's gonna be really exciting. So Hephaestus, as a forge and a smith, and uh, we're using a lot of beautiful metallic colors. Hi, baby cat. It's cold. It's almost gonna rain maybe, so he's kind of spun out. <laughs> Anyway, so Hephaestus, as the god of all these metalworking things, we are using a very metallic palette today, which I'm excited about. So let me show you my colors real fast. This is a 24 by 36 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft, level three professional series. Uh, I really, I miss these 24 by 36s. I've been doing a lot of the 24 by 24s and 20 by 20s. And there's just something about having this much room it's very freeing. I like it. Very liberating. Anyway, so colors. Let me put my gloves on before I get paint all over my hands. <laughs> I can never stay clean. Okay. All right. So some really cool stuff today. So over here, this is Golden's Prussian Blue. Nice, dark, deep, not quite navy but definitely on the darker side of the blues. And it is leaving a mound on a mound. All of my paints are mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish and the paint and some water and Floetrol. So it's a two to one ratio. I put two ounces of gloss medium and varnish and one ounce of paint. That's two to one. I mix that up, add some water, half an ounce, an ounce, ounce and a half, depending. This one probably had an ounce and a half. And then once the paint and medium and water is mixed up, then I add my flow trowel. So paint and medium, this is a 16 ounce cup. Paint and medium come to about here. Then from here to about here is flow trowel. So it's between nine and eight and 10 ounces usually. So this is a 16 ounce cup. Usually fill it up to about the 12 ounce mark. And then if I need to add water, I can. So that's our Prussian blue. Everything is mixed the same way. Um, okay, yeah. So <laughs> next color, this one is Chroma Molten Metals Pergare Silver. P-U-R-G-A-R-E. -E. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Pergare, Pergare, whatever you want. How fancy do you want to get? But um, it's a cool color. Nice silver. It's not a super light silver, but I like it. And I have mixed that one with the Prussian blue to get this color. So this is the metallic silver, or metallic blue, let's call, let's call it metallic Prussian. Okay, so then we have, let's see, our gold, 24 karat gold. I have left this one a little bit thicker because in the last two pours that we did in this Aphrodite series, I felt like the gold kind of got lost a little bit. So I think it was a little thin. I don't know if you heard me say that in um, the last one we just did with uh, Poseidon. Um, so that's the gold. Then I have copper by Goldens. Beautiful, I love this gold. <laughs> oh, dreamy. <laughs> Like this would be like my first kiss color. <laughs> that's how I love this color. Anyway, all right, so that's the copper. This one is a little bit weird. Okay, so this is the DecoArt gold. This is DecoArt silver. And then to that, I added a tiny bit of copper. So this is copper and silver, which was kind of like a rose gold color. I wasn't crazy about the color. So I actually put just a, a dash of Van Dyke Brown in there and it, it made it beautiful. It made this this really pretty deep color. And I think I put a tiny bit of white in there also. So, but this is really cool. It's not quite as, I don't want to say garish as rose gold because I'm not crazy about rose gold, but I love this. This is nice and soft and very pretty. So that's a beautiful color, almost like a pink pearl. So, okay. So what else do we have? We went our gold, copper, pink pearl, the metallic. Oh, this one. This one, I went and bought Artist Loft white and black in the flow acrylic, and they also had their gold in that quart size. So I picked up some of that and we are using that as well today. So this is Artist Loft flow acrylic in gold. And I also have Artist Loft flow acrylic in black and in white. So speaking of those, this is Artist Loft flow acrylic in black. And to the black, I have also added a tiny bit of the Deco Art satin enamels in black. So this is Artist Loft Black with art with the Deco Art Black. And then this one is the exact opposite. It's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with um, Deco Art Satin Enamels in it. And then to this, I have added a little bit of my house paint. 
That's the Bare Paint and Primer one that I've been using in Swiss coffee. So that's my white. Okay, so we did our white, we did our black. I also have a little bit of turquoise, that deep turquoise from Golden's left that we're gonna be using today. So this is kind of like a, a very earthy and metallic, very masculine pour. So I'm excited about this one. We're gonna do a wandering straight pour and I'm gonna try to keep it on the simpler side. I don't want this one super, super busy. I wanna be able to pour that ribbon and stretch it out and have it be really, really cool. So let's get started for this one. Okay, I'm gonna put some black in first. I'm probably gonna do more than one cup, so. Okay. So let's go right into the Pergari Silver. And then some of that sparkly blue. Put a little bit of white. And some gold. Oops, sank. Did you see that? It's okay, everything will be sparkly. And go with some copper. And that pink pearly color. Russian blue. Mm. Just a tiny bit of white in between. So I'm going to put them in the, the turquoise in first, and then a little bit of black. And then I want to try out the artist's loft gold. Let's go back to the sparkly blue. I'm going to throw a little bit more copper in there because we only have one layer. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on top. Alright, so let's leave that that way for the moment. Canvas. Okay. So I'm going to get some of the white. Okay, we're going to pour just a little kind of wavy line so going across-ish. The first one. Okay. Okay, what if I move the canvas here? There we go. So we're, let's fill up our cup one more time. I'm going to start with some more black because I like that in there. I like the copper in there. I like the Prussian blue. A little bit of white. Some gold. I think I kind of used a lot of this pearl, so I'm going to be using a little smaller layer of it. Maybe not as many layers of it. And we're going to use that sparkly blue now. And some Spergari silver. Another layer of black. Some artist loft gold. turquoise in there a lot. A little bit of silver.
All right. So I'm gonna just pour the, this over this way and then I'll go back over there. Okay, wow, there's so many cute cells popping up in here. All right, I'm gonna put down a little bit of white, just another pillow. Sort of like a guide. And then I'm actually gonna add a layer of black in between around this one right now. All right, I'm going to take my other cup of black and I'm going to pour it around both of those. Tilt this baby. Look at all these pretty cells that have come up. So this is so far as I'm happy with how it's looking because there's a lot of the gold in there. There's a lot of the black. There's a lot of that blue and the metallic blue. And then there's our beautiful copper and gold and silver. So there's a lot of color in here. Let's stretch it out and see what happens. Let's go this way. Just sort of go back and forth. And see where the weight of our paint is. And this is where that pillow of black comes in very handy. See, it just lets it slide across. Pretty lacing happening over there. I like to keep. Okay, so now we have. Let me take a little bit of that copper off. There's still a lot of paint on here. Okay, let's look at it for a second. I really like all this that's going on over here. That's really cool. I like the, the darker masculine sort of colors with the dark turquoise and the silver and the black. I love that a lot. I like this, the copper coming through on the black. That's very cool. This is very cool. This color, that peachy pink that I made, that peachy pearl, I'm not really liking it very, very much. So I think I'm going to, because there's still a lot of paint on here that I need to take off, I think I'm going to take off some of this part and sort of stretch this out even more. And then we might go back in with some copper and do like a ribbon or two just to get that darker copper color rather than the watered down version. Although that is really pretty, but that's okay. Okay, let's go that way. So Hephaestus was actually the son of Zeus and Hera. And Zeus married Aphrodite to Hephaestus in order to prevent a war over her hand. <laughs> so, kind of high dealing if you ask me. No, 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 don't marry anyone else. You're going to marry my son. 
which is not a bad deal to be married to the goddess of love and beauty and anyway. Still, I'm not crazy about this part. I, I like this now better, but we're not done yet. So I'm gonna take off more of this. So on the way to the paint right here, so I can go that way. So where is the way to my paint? It is right there, okay, all right. So we're just gonna go this way. And take this part right off, down. And we're going to open up this part that's in the center with that turquoise and the blue. solid black area that's really cool that is going to do it for this one it's funny how you have this idea in your head and then it doesn't do exactly what you want but then it's it's better <laughs> i'm going to wipe my hands off I was really mad that I dripped in the other one the other day. I was watching that video. I drips of paint on my fingers going, No! Don't do it! <laughs> okay. So let's look at this. I like that cloudy sort of effect we're getting. There's still a little bit of copper coming in through the top, which is cool. And a little bit of the very soft, more feminine color coming in this way. And a little bit more <laughs> copper down there. And then I love these like pebble cloudy cells with that Purgary silver and the Prussian blue. This is gorgeous right here. This like solid black area with turquoise and silver cells coming up. And then a line of turquoise with the black and then some gray and then a bright copper. That's really pretty. This is beautiful too here. Kind of a cloudy effect with some very pretty soft blue and that metallic blue we made into the darker blue and then into the turquoise, but then these beautiful cells come up in there. This part is very interesting visually. So there's a lot of movement. It's kind of got a lot of flow, sort of, um, I don't know if it's godlike or cloud-like, <laughs> but slightly tempted to try to get this corner off. And then I'm gonna try to. A little bit at least. I wouldn't mind stretching out a little bit more of what's happening here on the, that side anyway. Elemental. I think that was really distracting. I'm glad I took it off. So that's pretty cool. And now this is all opening up. This was cool. I faced this. I'm digging this one a lot. I think this is really, really neat. So I'm going to leave that there, just like that. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. If you enjoyed this and this whole Aphrodite series, I know I can be a bit silly sometimes. <laughs> But I think this is cool. I've always enjoyed history and mythology. So it's pretty cool. All right. Well, I will show you guys when it's dry. See you soon. Okay. So this is a few days later. This is Hephaestus. This is so cool. I love how this one turned out. There are some really amazing parts in this piece. So to recap, Hephaestus was the son of Zeus and Hera. And he was a blacksmith 
a metal worker, a forge. He was the weaponsmith for the gods. He created all the weapons for the gods and fixed them when needed. <laughs> but I love how this one turned out. You see a lot of that beautiful Bergari silver. Gave us this beautiful puffy bouldery clouds with the gold in there and the copper. Very, very pretty. I think this part here in the center is my favorite part. Very galactic. Very cool. I like this area down here. It's solid. It was solid. Some little critter decided it needed some embellishment. I actually like it better now. <laughs> but that black spear, sort of, it reminded me of first of a sword and then the... the the anvil that they pound the metal on. <laughs> I don't know. But this one came out really, really neat. I love the metallic showing up. You look over here, is that gold blinging, sparkling. And then we have a little bit of that coppery pink that I made. I'm glad we kept some of it on there. Not a lot, though. And there's a little bit of copper down there at the bottom. But this turned out so cool. Very galactic, ethereal. Gods battling, epic fighting, I don't know. <laughs> Very cool. So anyway, Zeus married Aphrodite to Hephaestus to stop a war <laughs> over her hand in marriage, which I think is pretty funny. Anyways, but this one, I love how it turned out. I'm really, really happy with this one. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this a lot. Really cool stuff. There's that little bit of copper up there in the light, in the top. There's the sun, yay! <laughs> Look at that bling. Beautiful. I like that there's not too much copper in there. It's almost like a wave. Or a bolt of lightning flying through, I don't know. Very cool stuff though. So this one is Hephaestus. And he actually is Aphrodite's consort, her husband. <laughs> so we will have more of these. I think our next one is gonna be Adonis. That one is really, really cool. You guys are gonna love it. And it's dried so awesome, I'm so excited. Anyways, if you wanna see more of my stuff, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook, or you can check out my Etsy shop. And if you enjoyed this and you'd like to be a patron of the arts, there is a link for a PayPal me in the description box. I greatly appreciate all of your donations. Thank you so much. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a great day.